Hello, this is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking at home manicures and I'm going to teach you how to get a professional manicure at home. And I'm also going to be putting in bonus clips of my Chanel nail polish collection. Let's get into it. Jumping right into it, we are going to need a few tools, starting with pointed Q-tip, a wooden orange stick, a nail file, a metal nail file, and some nail clippers. First thing I'm going to do is give my nails a little bit of a nicer shape. I already like the length of it, so I'm just going to take a little bit off the sides and give myself a nice oval shape. The oval is my go-to nail shape just because it complements my fingers and my hands really nicely and I've been doing it for so long that it's actually really easy for me to do. You guys go ahead and do whatever nail shape that you prefer. Using my nail file, I'm going to start to buff away any of the dead skin around my cuticle. And I'm gonna do this really gently, going back and forth very, very lightly. I don't want to go in too deep because I could hurt myself and leave my skin really raw. So again, the key is just to go in very lightly and gently. Okay, I have a little bit of a hang nail here, so I'm just going to be using the metal file to lightly lift it up from my skin and then I'm gonna buff it away using the nail file. If it's a longer, rougher hangnail, then I'll use a nail clip, but generally I like to stay away from those because I'm really petrified that I'm gonna cut myself one day. And then I'm gonna grab the nail file again and just buff everything to a smooth finish. One thing I should have mentioned in the start of my video is that whenever I'm starting to do a manicure, I like to wash my hands and make sure that there are no oils left behind. The reason is because it can affect how the nail polish goes onto my nails, but also it can affect the lifespan of my manicure. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna take a little bit of cuticle oil and just go around my cuticles, making sure not to touch the nail. And if I do, I can just easily grab a cotton swab and then just go around my nail with a bit of acetone nail polish remover, and then just make sure that there are no traces of oil left. I wanna do this because I wanna condition my cuticles, which are quite dry right now, and just make sure that there's enough time to work it into my skin. So while the cuticle oil is doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and file my nails and I'm gonna do this all going in one direction to make sure that my nails don't split and crack. And now it's time for a nail base slash primer. I like this one from Sally Hansen. Um, Sally Hansen is kind of my go-to drugstore brand and I'm sure there are better ones out there. If you guys have any favorites, please let me know. Leave it in the comment below so I can check them out because this one is good, but I, there's probably better ones out there to be perfectly honest. So I'm really excited because I picked up a couple of new polishes from Chanel, which is my favorite thing out there next to shoes and cats. Um, but I grabbed Energy, which is a really beautiful, vibrant pink. Ultrasonic from their neon collection, which is a neon orange, it's gorgeous. And then Harmony, which is kind of like a bright jade. So I am going with Ultrasonic because I am really feeling the orange right now. I have a yellow undertone to my skin and I didn't think I could pull off this orange, but something about it just spoke to me and I'm just going with it. Now I do have another one from the Neon Collection, which is this vibrant neon green color called Fantastic. It is a shade that I wore so much last year that I'm honestly surprised I'm not even done the bottle. Now to make sure that my color is completely mixed, I'm going to take the bottle, put it upside down and shake it back and forth in between my palms. And I like to do this because if I shake it right up and down, then I find that there's gonna be a lot of air bubbles in my manicure and I don't want that. Now what I'm gonna to do to get an even manicure is swipe one side of the brush on the bottle and then I'm gonna take that color, start in the center of my nail and then push the color down. And I'm going to go to the side, do the same thing where I start at the top, not too close to the cuticle, just a little bit below and then just pull that color down and then move over, move over to the other side. I don't like to go too many times over the same spot with my brush because if I do that, then I find that it's actually removing and diluting a bit of that color. 
And then if I mess up any of the areas, then I can easily take my wooden orange stick and then just clean up the cuticles. If you guys are too lazy to do that, then I'm gonna show you a tip later on in this video, so make sure you keep watching. So I remember seeing this idea on Pinterest where there was a girl that had two-tone nail polish color where one hand was pink and the other one was like a brighter pink. So I thought it would be a really good idea to do that and try it out for myself only because I just picked up so many colors and I couldn't really decide which one to do. So I'm going to grab Energy which is that really beautiful vibrant pink and I'm going to paint my right hand with it. Now I am right-handed, so it's a lot easier for me to work on my left hand than it is the right. I guess the biggest thing that helps me when I'm working with my opposite hand is just to make sure that my hand is kind of stable before I even start painting my nails. And then I just try to go very slowly, like a lot slower than I would with my dominant hand. And I find that helps me be a lot more accurate. Take your time, have fun, it's just nail polish. If you mess up, then you have your wooden orange stick. And if not, there's always pointed Q-tips. Dipping it into nail polish remover always helps. So when it comes to two coats versus three coats, I would say definitely use your discretion. Some colors are perfect after two coats, whereas others like the neons definitely need three. So if you guys feel like you need a third coat, go for it. If you feel like you're good after the second, then you're good to move on to the next step. I think I actually learned this hack watching a YouTube tutorial and basically what you do in order to get your nails completely dry really quickly is you take a bowl of water, add a few ice cubes, and then you let your nails sit in this freezing cold water for a few minutes. Now, I don't have the tolerance, I don't have the pain threshold to let my hands sit in there for three minutes straight. So what I'll do is I'll dip them in, take them out when it gets too cold, and then put them back in. Now, I was so excited to show you guys that quick dry hack that I totally forgot to put a top coat on my nails. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to grab the high gloss coat from Sally Hansen. The Chanel Neons are not very glossy and compared to their regular collection. So I like the fact that the high gloss coat will give me a more consistent finish in my manicure. And if I want to do a matte, then I would just grab a matte top coat, but I, I much prefer a high gloss top coat to be honest. And just because I did the top coat and I don't want to sit around forever waiting for my nails to dry, I'm going to dunk it back into that ice water for a minute. Now to clean up any messy edges, I'm going to take some nail polish remover, a pointed Q-tip. I'm going to pour a little bit of that polish remover into the cap, dip in the pointed Q-tip, and then I'm just going to go around the messy edges on my cuticles and clean it up. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to go back and forth and just really remove that polish, but be patient, it's totally worth it, especially if you mess up and you get nail polish all over the place. And then when I'm done, I'm just gonna take that cap full of nail polish remover and put it back into the bottle because I don't wanna put it down the sink. Okay, so at this point your nails should be glossy, they should be dry, they should be good to go. So the last step is to moisturize your hands. I like to use this one from Chanel, but honestly, I, I use everything from Lubriderm to skin food to like absolutely everything. I love hand cream. The only thing is I'm gonna try to avoid my nails because I just did them and I wanna make sure that I give it a chance to fully, fully dry before adding any moisture in there. I hope you find these tips helpful. I have been doing my nails at home for so many years now. It's actually very rare that I even go to the nail salon because I feel like I could just easily do it at home myself. And it's kind of therapeutic for me. So I hope you find these tips very helpful and that your manicure will last. Now, if you stick around, you can watch my Chanel nail polish collection video. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, especially since I know I have a few Chanel makeup enthusiasts who like to watch my channel. The inspiration from shooting this also comes from Alison Chase, who is a beauty blogger here on YouTube. She does a lot of really beautiful beauty videos and I did collaborate with her, so I'll make sure that I leave that collab video up in the description. But thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you check out my Instagram and my blog. Bye.
Perfect time, 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 time. 